Hi everyone, um, my name is Mandy Smellick. I am the Fertility Case Manager and RN here at Reply OBGYN. Um, many of our patients here, um, they have been monitoring their blood pressures at home. So we just wanted to do a short little video as to how to do that correctly. Um, so we'll be going through the uh, several steps here um, to monitoring your blood pressure at home. First thing with the blood pressure, we want to avoid any activity for 15 minutes. Um, we want you to sit quietly and when we take the blood pressure, we are not going to be talking and we're going to have our feet flat on the floor um, and remove any tight clothing. Um, what my patient has on right now is fine. It's a loose fitted shirt. Um, we can take the blood pressure over that. Um, if you do have a bulky coat on, we do recommend removing that. Um, okay, so position is important. You wanna sit upright. We also wanna make sure that we're using the appropriate cuff size. Um, for this patient's arm, um, it is smaller, so we're gonna use a smaller cuff, and this shirt is thin, so what she has on is appropriate. We can put this over top of her shirt. When we also apply the cuff, there is a marking on the cuff. We wanna make sure that the arrow is um, falling in line with the, um, the crook of your elbow here. So, and when we do apply it, we wanna make sure it's not too tight or too loose fitting because that can alter the blood pressure reading. Okay. So, when we get the blood pressure, sorry, <laughs> Most of you guys are using an automated cuff at home, so, um, and we use this here in the office as well. So she's gonna sit quietly and see how her arm is. Um, we wanna make sure that it's um, at a, a level and it's not hanging down um, because that can also affect the blood pressure. So we're just sitting quietly right now. And we want to make sure that the cuff is completely loose before removing and that your reading is up on the monitor. Um, and then once you have that, you can remove the cuff and record your blood pressure and pulse on your blood pressure log that you were given. So for those of you who own a wrist cuff, um, we recommend the positioning for that when you're taking your blood pressure to elevate your arm, keep your elbow bent a little bit. Um, and rest your elbow on a table, or you can bring your forearm across your chest for the wrist cuff. Um, for manual cuffs, we do not recommend these unless you're a licensed healthcare professional for accuracy purposes. If you are a reply patient and you have any questions or concerns about your blood pressures, or you need a new blood pressure log, you can feel free to reach out to any of our clinic staff members via the Reply Health app on iPhone, the portal, or by calling our clinic at 919-230-2100. Thank you.